What up everybody? Instructor Beats back again here with our subtracting lesson. Today we're going to be using expanded form to subtract up to three digits with regrouping. So uh, let's chop it up and take a look at our objective today. Our objective today, today I will be able to subtract three digit numbers with regrouping by using the expanded form method. All right, so let's take a look at conceptually what's happening when we're subtracting, okay? So I've gone ahead and set up our minuend, uh, which is our the number that we are subtracting from. And we have two hundreds here, right? Represents a two in our hundreds place. We have three tens to represent the three in our tens place. And we have four ones to represent the four in our ones place. And we want to take away 163. So we always go right to left when we subtract. So we're going to take away our ones place first. So we have four ones right here and we want to take away three of them, which obviously leaves us with a one left in the ones place. All right. So moving to our tens place here, we have three tens and we want to take away six tens. But as you can see, right, I can't take away six if I only have three. So more on the floor, go next door and get 10 more. So what we have to do is we have to go next door to the hundreds place and we have to unbundle one of these hundreds and give it to our tens place. So I'm going to take away one of these hundreds and I'm going to give it to the tens place. I'm going to scroll down. There we go. All the way down so you can see it right here. And if you look at this hundred, you can see that you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 sticks, right, or 10, 10 place value sticks that make up this hundreds grid. So we want to take this 100 and magically our 10 tens, easy for us to move around, right? So we took that 100, we unbundled it, we unwrapped it, if you will, and we've made it into our 10, 10 blocks. So now I have 13 10 blocks, right? And so now I can take away six because I have enough to take away. So if I have uh, 13 of them and I'm going to take away six, that leaves me with seven left over. So I had to regroup here, right? We first learned about it. We called it on bundling, but I couldn't do three minus six. I had to come over to my hundreds place and regroup. Some people call it borrowing, except you never really give it back. So really it's like stealing a hundred and we unbundled it to turn it into 10 tens and then we could subtract our six tens away so that now leaves us with seven tens now we had a two in the hundreds place right and we want to take away a one from the hundreds place well i only have one left because i already had to regroup the other one to the tens so 100 minus 100 would give me a zero in the hundreds place so when I subtracted 234 minus 163, it gave me a difference of 71. So that's what's actually happening when we're regrouping. We're going to our next place value and we're borrowing or we're regrouping and then unbundling them to help us subtract. Let's take a look at what this looks like with our expanded form. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and set up my first digit using my expanded form. I need to chop up 234. <laughs> Love that sound effect and turn it into 200 plus 30 plus four, right? So I'm showing it in expanded form. And then I'm going to subtract 100 plus 60 plus three, okay? So this is expanded form. If you notice right here, 200 plus 30 plus four is it the exact same thing we started with our base 10 blocks. We had two hundreds, we had three tens, and we had four ones. And now we're gonna subtract. We still go from right to left. So four minus three was one right? That matches exactly what I had in the ones place. Now I can't do 30 minus 60, right? I couldn't do three tens minus six tens. That's what 30 minus 60 is saying. So I need to, um, what I like to say is more on the floor, go next door and get 10 more. And we're not really getting 10, we're getting 10 tens, right? Because this is a place value. So when we borrowed, this became a 100, right? Just like we did over here at the base 10 blocks. We had to give that 100 over to the tens place and then we unbundled it. So now I don't have 30, I have 130 because I have 13 tens. Just like where my tens place, I started with 13 10 place value blocks, right? That's worth 130, so I have the value right here. Now 130 minus 60 is 70. If I have seven 10 blocks right here, right? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 
70, that's the same thing. When you're doing expanded form, you're just writing the value of that, okay? And then over here, I now have 100 minus 100 would be zero. So my expanded form for the difference would be 70 plus one. When I combine that, I get 71. So the expanded form is the exact same thing you did with the base 10 blocks, except you're showing it with the values of each number. Let's take a look and name the steps that you just saw me do. All right, our steps for regrouping. Our steps for subtracting using expanded form are the same steps that we um, dealt with in the first video, right? You're gonna line your place values up vertically. Um, you're gonna make sure you have bigger numbers on top. You're going to subtract starting with the ones place and then go right to left. Now, when you have to regroup, you need to ask yourself this question. More on the top, then no need to stop. More on the floor, go next door and get 10 more. Check out our song, because we got these lyrics in an awesome song. We're gonna ask ourselves this question for each place value that we're subtracting, all right? So let's model this together in our we do problem. Before we even start though, I wanna estimate just to see if my answer at the end is reasonable. I'm gonna round this to 800, I'm gonna round this to 100, 800 minus 100. I think my answer should be around 700. That's my estimate, all right? So let's follow our steps for subtracting with the expanded form. First is we want to write our numbers in expanded form and line the place values up vertically. Remember the plus signs can help us line these numbers up. Now, typically in expanded form, you wouldn't have to write uh, a, a zero in the hundreds place because it's just inferred that it is, but just for our place value holders, I like to put a zero for the hundreds place just to make sure that I'm not making an easy mistake, all right? So I'm gonna start with my ones place, I'm gonna go right to left. I'm gonna ask myself for each place value, more on the top or more on the floor. Six is bigger than three, so more on the floor, go next door and get 10 more. So I'm gonna take my 110 here, which is gonna make this number now 50, and I'm giving it to the three. So I'm getting 10 ones more, which makes this a 13. Now I have more on the top, no need to stop, and my answer is going to be seven for the ones place, okay? So now because I crossed out the 60 and I've already regrouped or borrowed from it, I have 50 minus 80, okay? So more on the floor, go next door and get 10 more. But you're not really getting 10 ones, you're getting 10 tens, right? Because this is the tens place. So my 700 is going to become a 600 and I am giving, right, that 100, right, 100 more to my tens place. So now I had 50 and I got 10 tens more. That's why we say 10 more. And so 10 tens obviously is 100. So this is going to become a 150. 150 minus 80 now is 70. And then I have 600 now because I had to regroup or borrow from it. 600 minus zero would be 600. So the difference in expanded form is 600 plus 70 plus seven. And when you write that in standard form or numerical form, your answer is 677, which is pretty reasonable because it was pretty close to my estimate. Bam, 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 blam! Let's try a you try problem. All right, so if you're new here to Instruct the Beats, what we're gonna do right now is you're gonna pause the video, you're gonna try this using our expanded form, using the steps that we've talked about, and then you're gonna push play to check your understanding to see how you did. So hopefully you paused it and now you're checking your answer. Step number one from our previous video, we're gonna do 900 plus 70 plus two, and I'm gonna be subtracting 200 plus 90 plus eight, right? So I have my numbers written in expanded form and my place values are lined up. You can use the plus signs to kind of help you make sure your place values are lined up. I did forget to estimate, so I'm gonna round this to 1,000. I'm gonna round this to 300, so I think again my answer should be somewhere around 700. So let's start with the ones place and go right to left. Two minus eight, more on the floor, go next door and get 10 more. So I'm gonna get 10 ones, this is gonna become a 60, and I'm giving those 10 ones to the two, which is going to make this a 12, all right? 12 minus eight is four, all right? That's my ones place. Now I have 60 here, because I already borrowed or regrouped from the 70. Again, 60 minus 90, 90 is bigger than 60, so more on the floor, go next door and get 10 more. But now we're talking about 10 tens, right? Because we're in the tens place. So I'm gonna take a one of my hundreds and I'm going to give it to my 60, right? I'm giving the 100, you don't have to draw this, but just to show you, I'm giving the 100 
because that's 10 tens to the 60. I'm going to unbundle it and then add it to what I already have. So now I have 160 minus 90, which is 70. And then 800 minus 200, more on the top, no need to stop. So I can just go ahead and subtract. And the difference should be 674. I got to put my expanded form back together. And again, that's pretty close to my estimate. So I feel good about my answer. What we want you to take from this is you really have to take your time and go one place value at a time. Okay, now something you're gonna have to work on is being neat. So give yourself lots of room, make sure your place values are lined up. That way when you regroup or some teachers call it borrowing, you'll know exactly what you need. Make sure you cross out where you're regrouping from, right? So I regrouped from a 70, I had to make it a 60, right? If you're giving 10 to the ones place, then 70 minus 10 would be 60. So you gotta make sure you're following the steps, taking it one step at a time. Thank you so much for checking us out today. We really appreciate you spending your time. We know there's lots of different options online. Check out our subtracting song. We think you'll like it. Check out our other videos. We'd love for you to subscribe, comment, and like. Let us know where you're watching from. Give us any feedback. We appreciate you guys. Instructor Beats, out.